Hello, and welcome back to SSNU Productions' playthrough of Pokemon Emerald. We're now going to take on the Psychic Gym. Now, this gym's puzzle, ironically, is one of the easiest in the game. And it's weird, because this gym usually gives people a lot of trouble. But, um... No, for the most part, this gym is a simple like, puzzle challenge, where you have to go through certain, um... You have to press certain buttons and stuff to move the platforms around so you can get through the, uh, the rooms. And as you could tell by this, guys, this is a psychic gym. Oh, another reason why this Let's Play got hell put on hiatus for a few weeks was... I had to re-record re this entire section right here. Because the emulator decided to freeze and corrupt the entire file for this part. So I did this gym twice. It's an easy gym, though. Well, at least the getting t to the gym leaves is easy. So it shouldn't be too problem. much of a problem. I want Chad to learn Double Edge, which is a pretty powerful move. Um, only problem is it, it, it's one of those recoil moves. Chad's is definitely my, mo my most versatile Pokemon. He can learn a lot of different moves. Why he still knows cut, I'm not sure, but... It's good in a pinch, I guess. Now see, here's the thing, you move around specific people. Like here, you won't have to battle them. Now here's a two path. You're gonna have to, both of these paths you have to go down. Doesn't matter which one you go down first. Either way, you're gonna end up fighting someone. So you need to go down here to move the red thing over there to unblock that path. So either way, this is kind of like... There's no getting past this. Hurry yeah. Thankfully, Leaf Blade usually makes short work of these guys. If only it did during the actual gym battle. See, that's unavoidable. You really couldn't avoid either of those people. Well, maybe you could. I'm not sure. To be honest, I just did it for the experience. Ooh, fighting type in my psychic gym? So I think it's a fighting type. Eh, either way, it's easy. Maniac. Okay. Alright, so then you can press the button, and what you do is essentially you move around these so that path over there is no longer blocked. Now, the next thing you need to do is. It's gonna be another unavoidable fight here. Even if you went up to press the button, he still would have caught you, so. Might as well find he's got one Pokemon, it's not like it's gonna be but that much of a problem. Sprouts! I haven't seen one of you since the last time we fought Wally. Speaking of Wally, where is he? I haven't seen him in a while. Ah. So close to leveling up. This guy up here, you can avoid <laughs> easily. Now here's where that second room comes into play. You see that green button over there? We can't get to it now. So that's what the second place over here is for. Now you can abuse the portals here to avoid these guys entirely. No, that this that portal leads back to the main area. Thankfully, this one will bring you back, so don't worry. But to be honest, it's one person. I 
And she has one Pokemon to begin with, so... There seems to be a theme. A lot of these people line up as for double battles. That's gonna come into play later. Once we get to the actual gym leaders. This, this part is just getting through the gym. Because I was paranoid and I didn't think I would be able to beat the gym. Because even this gym gives me trouble, even though for some reason I had better time with it during this play, even with the recording curse. But, um... Yeah, this part is just getting through the gym. But you'll see why, what this whole double concept is when we get to the gym leaders. Oh, I kind of just gave it away now, but, uh, yeah. Now see, here's the green button. See, now this path is opened, so we can move on. Just line it up right. You go right back. You go over here. I'll line this one up right so you don't have to fight that guy. There you go. And there's the gym leaders. Now this gym is legitimately a double battle. 